Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back into another Dota Pit cast. Here we have the semifinals between Team Secret and Virtus Pro. Here it is a best of five series. We've gotten so far through the tournament already. It seems like it's been decades since we first started, but we are finally here. One more match before the grand finals. Virtus Pro Polar are already there waiting for this match to end to conclude and to see who is going to move on. Is it going to be Team Secret, the European Central European squad, or the CIS squad of Virtus Pro? We're going to find out momentarily as we are going to jump into the draft here in just a second, guys. Thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Mott. Joining me today, of course, is none other than F4L and, of course, our stats man, Mott Pax. But F4L, how the hell are you today? I'm doing really good this morning. I'm super excited for this game. I think it's going to be a great best of five that we have today against Secret and VP. You know, they played yesterday in the captain's draft game. It was a pretty close series. It went to five games. So I expect something similar here today, maybe a four or five game Virtus series. So I think it'll be great. The one thing I am jealous of, of that series is the ridiculous picks that came out. At some point, we had a no-tail broodmother. Another point, we had an oracle picked up as well. G was playing Meepo. Lots of crazy picks. I hope to see more of the same here. Obviously, some of those heroes not in captain's mode just yet, but... Well, we can dream mm -hmm. with some of the Dollar picks we have now. Back. Secret get their favorite no-tell Elder Titan. And Virtus Pro, they're not scared. They get the like. And I don't know, man. I'd be fearing. I'd be fearing the Elder Titan right now if I was on the side of Virtus Pro. I'd be a bit scared. But they got some balls. They got some uh, cojones, if you will. Ten yeah, I mean, we always talk about these three heroes that you need to sort of take away from Secret. The Five Wisp, Panda, seconds. and Elder Titan. I think, actually, Elder Titan is... Probably the easiest Result hero time. for teams to deal with, I think, at this point. I think teams are pretty comfortable playing against ET. Not to say that, like, anything's changed because the aura still going into that late game is absolutely insane. But at the same time, they are going to have the Lycan, which is a hero that can purchase two armor items in the Vlads and AC. And you pretty much do that every Virtus game anyway, goes. so it's Tell not like you're bad. going out of your build path necessarily to have some, it, it mitigates the effectiveness of Elder Titan just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here's um, here's what I'm thinking, and you could talk about it a bit with me here, and, and, and I, I'm seconds, thinking right now, it is going to be G playing the Lycan. I've seen BZ play before, but generally G playing Five it mid seconds. is, is mm -hmm. no shocker. Um, yeah. I really like the idea of Team Seeker banning out number one, uh, the Night Stalker, and number time. two, the Vengeful Spirit. Yol and Jadam both play the Vengeful Spirit to great success. I mean... Let's just say every support in the goddamn game plays that hero right now. Dyer we'll just throw that out bad. there. Uh, Night Stalker has been played a lot by Virtus Pro Polar and Virtus Pro, but there's also the chance that we see a Spirit Breaker, who I think you mentioned Ixma talking about him being one of the strongest offlaners of the game currently. So we yeah, might also I, see that. And based seconds, on the need. recent picks from VP and Virtus Pro Polar, both uh, those teams from the same need. organization, they've been actually picking a lot of Spirit Breakers, so... I wouldn't be Dyer too surprised if we see that as a possibility this game. Although, at the same time, it's a little more unlikely because this Jakiro could be ran as a core. Mm. And I think if there's a core Jakiro, we won't see that Spirit Breaker. Nice. But Secret are going to go with their tried and true Dazzle. Not too surprising. Yeah, here's the, this, this is what it feels like. If they can get the Elder Titan first phase, they'll try to delay and get the Dazzle later on. And Virtus Pro not banning the Dazzle is kind of surprising to me because of how good that hero is. EG first picked him, and almost, I think, all of the games they were playing up against Virtus Pro Polar, uh, even though they <laughs> lost that series, PPD's Dazzle did work. Puppy's Dazzle, you could argue, is even better Ten than Peter's Dazzle. Ending. So there's that. Um, Puck play has been through the roof right Five now, and S4, three. obviously, no stranger to the hero. Uh, let's just say he won a lot of money with it uh, in a big He's tournament. Uh, you guys can guess which one that is. Um, so, well, we'll see how the draft does end up here for Virtus Pro. As they have 1 minute 36 seconds left to reserve time to liken. A good solid pickup, but I'm fearing, man. Team Secrets draft. Spicy. Mm -hmm. I, I hope, actually, that we get to see a Night Stalker in one of these games. But I think it could actually end up being a hero that gets banned in every, every game. Every yeah. game is going to get banned. EG did the same thing against Polar. I would not be surprised it's, if Secret. Uh, it's actually an extremely scary hero right now so because good. of how the darkness works. Because, you know, before darkness, uh, it would just limit the vision from heroes. So wards and towers would still get vision. So it wasn't too bad because in team fights you could just drop an observer ward. Um, and then you'd get, you know, that extra vision. So it'd sort of be like normal. But, you know, now that it's reduced vision on everything, 
it's actually extremely hard to team fight and to play around this nice soccer hero now. So I won't be too surprised if we Dia don't see it in any of these games. Night Stalker is a hero that uh, I, I've seen firsthand. He can demolish game secret snowball. He doesn't give a crap about tower diving, especially at nighttime. The new day-night cycle thing with darkness is kind of frightening as well. And he's just very difficult to lock down. He snowballs so effectively. And you talk about snowballing, and that's just one of the ways that you can run over a team and, and just have a really rough time if you're on the opposite side. So... For Team Ten Secret, they make sure that's not available in the pool. Bane will be the graph for Virtus Pro. They want to make sure that there is... Five number one, this is this is a two-fold pick. You can sort of lock down the puck, but you can also make sure that Team Secret doesn't get it if they wanted to get locked down against the Lycan. But with a Dazzle and Elder Titan, I don't think they would have gone for it regardless. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also a hero that isn't as susceptible to the burst of puck, at least in the early game because of the high stat gain coming up from Bane. Mm -hmm. so, so I think this is a pretty good pick in this situation. It's going to give them a lot of lockdown, like you said. And I also kind of like it with Lycan because it's Lycan's a hero with... I would say he's one of the more bursting carries just because of how much damage output he has. Um, and with the Bane, if someone gets gripped and Lycan's there, they're just going to instantly die unless they get griefed. Mm -hmm. well, we'll have to see how it goes. This Bane could be a huge pickup for Virtus Pro, but what I'm looking forward to right now is Kuroki's pick. Uh, and also what Misery is going to be playing. Mm -hmm. Misery in the offlane. Of course, the new offlaner coming in for Team Secret. I mean, I've seen maybe one or two games with him in it, and he's played really well every game I've watched. And uh, he's he's playing mm -hmm. at a high level currently, I think, for Team Secret. So could also be a puck offlane. That That's could something work as we well. didn't consider. But I don't know, man. S4 playing this year just seems too good to me. Uh, but again, the option is open. Um, they can throw it around. They can they can talk about it. They are taking a lot of time here in the reserve time. They're they're thinking it over, saying, "Listen, what do we want here? Ten seconds. Gonna grab remaining. something. Kuroki's hero. He has a pretty large hero pool. Five seconds. The remaining. biggest understatement of the century. Yeah, Kuroki's he's got a pretty big hero pool. Axe is gonna oh, come out from Team Sacred. Axe. Oh Virtus my. Turn to pick. This is interesting. So they're sort of going for that. Basically, I guess you could say like PyCat started this trend where they, uh, when he was on mouse, they would just aggressive try lane or get the axe into whatever lane Lycan's in. But it's very important that you actually scout what lane Lycan's in. Because if Lycan's not against axe in the lane, then it's not really a counter because once Lycan gets farmed really enough, axe doesn't really do anything to Lycan. So it'll be interesting to see if Five Secret are able to... You know, either figure out what lane Lycan's going to be in or if they scout well enough to figure out where Lycan's going to be going because that's really important when you pick the X. Yeah, you make a really good point. I feel like once it hits the later game, Team Secret have nothing right now. I mean, a farm puck is good, a farm max is good, Elder Titan will be good in the late game, but it, mm -hmm. the question is, I think, is this going to be a Kuroki Axe or is this more than likely going to be like a, a Misery Axe or do they send Puck to the offlane and then maybe have Kuroki play a mid-hero? Do, what, what's the options here for Team Secret? I, I still think at this point you pick a carry. So they could, I mean, they can pretty much pick whatever they want. Greatest Pro going to go ahead and pick up the Storm Spirit. So that's, I mean, it could be mid or safe lane. They've pretty much left their options open. So both of these heroes are pretty flexible with their laning. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for Secret to figure out where this Lycan is going to be going for sure. Ten seconds remaining. Um... But yeah, I, I definitely think that they're going to last Five pick some sort of carry remaining. here. Maybe an anti-mage or... I mean, what else can they pick Virtus here? Pros, turn to bat. For secret? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not... I'm thinking like uh, Slark's not so good against Storm. I mean, mm. it's okay, but... They don't have enough range to pick Drow and... I, Ten seconds mm, remaining. I don't know. There's, there's a couple. I know they like anti mage. Uh, the, the thing is, Kuroki, like Five I said, he has such a wide remaining. hero pool. Maybe Naga actually. Yeah, I, that's I what like I was Naga thinking here. as well. If you put and you could put him in the mid lane as well, then said puck off lane and, and then axe dazzle elder Ten titan and do like a tri lane with those and or even do solo safe lane puck. I mean, that's an option Dyer as well. Again, they only have one second left in reserve time. The last couple of bands, they do ban out the terror blade. Kuroki hasn't played that I as like much since the nerfs, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see. I actually like the Naga pick a lot. Uh, it'll have a heal bomb with Dazzle. Oh, it's oh, going to be a PA. Like PA. So. There's actually... Turn to pick. You can justify pretty much every pick here. <laughs> uh, PA is quite good as well because they don't really have a lot of uh, magical burst damage. 
they have some decent magical damage over time, but nothing that will frighten the PA early game. So PA is going to have a pretty easy time. I think uh, it's definitely a hero that is good against Lycan because you force him to go an item that he doesn't really want to go in the MKB. Ten seconds mm. remaining. So yeah, I definitely think uh, this is also a strong pick. Like it is not the the remaining. best MKB carrier in the world, but at the same time, you, you've got to try to find a way to shut down this Phantom Assassin. They go for the Enigma, so that's one way to do it in terms of the black hole and being able to just get a big team fight going their way. I'm scared that they might shut this Enigma down in the jungle early on, and they have aggressive potential with Team Secret, but we'll wait and see. And Literally, they could have picked any hero, I think, that last pick for Secret, and they would have been fine. They, just any hero, I think you're right about mm -hmm. that, so... I wonder if this is going to be an aggressive try lane now that's going to come out from Secret. because they, could they get away with it. <laughs> well, I think if you do something like an Axe, Sazzo, Elder Titan, and then you do Puck, Safe Lane, PA, Mid, they could have some issues. Or even you could aggro try lane with the PA, possibly. It's just because they're going to have a dual lane in the Safe Lane, I believe. With a Bane, it's either going to be Bane Storm or Bane Lycan, and neither of those are very Ten frightening dual lanes. I think you might send Lycan. Actually, no, it's BZZ playing the Lycan, so it's looking more like a safe lane Lycan than anything else at this point. But, well, mm -hmm. theory crafting the lane is always the hardest part for me. We'll see how this does turn out as we have Secret Prepare versus Virtus Pro, battle. a five game series, guys, a maximum of five games today here for Dota Pit. Again, we've been through lots of trials and tribulations throughout this entire season. Some great, fantastic Dota games, but. Now, a big one at stake here. Will we see two CIS teams go at it in the Grand Finals, or will Secret join Virtus Pro Polar uh, for that Grand Finals slot? We'll have to wait and see as we will get underway. In terms of your rosters, on your Radiant side for Virtus Pro, you got Yodes, or Sidori, if you will. Change his name up the THG or Jakiro up in the top lane. So it is the core Jakiro, no surprise there. G playing the Storm Spirit in the mid lane. Down bottom, we will have Jotam playing his Bane. BZZ, or BZZ is perfect on the like, and then Yol. He's going to be playing the Enigma. Some Yolo black holes, hopefully. We'll see how it goes for BP. Seconds and then on the back. side of Secret on the Dire in the safe lane, it looks like we're going to have Kuroki playing that safe lane carry Axe. Puppy's going to be on the Dazzle. Big Daddy No Tail is going to be playing his Elder Titan in the mid lane. We're going to have S4 on the Phantom Assassin, which we saw him playing yesterday. And offlane, we're going to have Misery on the Puck. So what was interesting was that they had S4 picking up the axe early on, but they decided to swap. They will go for some rune contention, uh, contention here for Secret. They don't want to give anything away. They'll pick up one bounty rune. Jotam will grab the other bottom. Couple wards here in the bottom area, near the bottom rune spot. They actually block a camp with one of these Dire Observer wards, so... Um, just making sure that the camp is blocked for the Enigma, who he'll head to the jungle, unsurprisingly. Not going to go aggro jungle or anything like that, but um, they won't go aggro tri lane. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think they could have done so with Secret. I mean, especially with the lane setup coming up from VP, if they have an aggro axe tri lane bottom, um, I'm not sure what their response is because they have a Lycan Bane in this lane. And I think Puck would do quite well in a 1v1 against Shakiro, at least early. Kuroki not skilling yet. He does go Berserker's Call, but they don't really have damage. They have no counter helix, but the body block's coming out from No Tail. Will this be your first blood? Ice Path gonna go through, and Sadoi will be able to eat his tree and survive. If they had one more hero there, say if Dadisil had rotated, they would have gotten that kill, but they are already putting pressure here on Sadoi early on in this game. And this is what they could have done down bottom, like you were talking about. And by the way, Kuroki Axe. This guy's known for his farming prowess, but now we're gonna see. How he could jam. Mm -hmm. It is a little interesting, though, to have a safe lane axe try lane against a solo because I, I'm not sh too sure how this works. Counter helix is a skill that does push the lane, so maybe he actually opts to not skill anything early just so that he makes sure that he doesn't push the lane at all. Because you don't want to be giving free experience to the offlaner. So you just think he he holds his points for Kuroki? Yeah, I think he might hold, hold the points. Oh or just my. maybe never aggro the creeps. It's going to be a difficult to ask for him. I mean, if you the thing is, he is going to go for counter helix. And no, he wants he to be able it. to get those kills on the THG. And we've talked about how often that uh, Jakiro's can get ganked uh, in the off lane. It's definitely, they're mm -hmm. susceptible to getting pressured. and It's going to be a tall order for Sadoi. It's certainly not easy, but... We'll keep our eye on that top lane as mid lane S4 and G are going toe to toe. It is important to note a lot of the CS is going the way of Virtus Pro, so a good start for them. But 
the first gank will dictate the pace of the play, and so far, nothing going on. It's just kind of a relaxing, let's sit back, let's do some farming kind of Dota game. And... Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, VP definitely doing well in the mid lane, especially. I don't think, has she missed a CS yet? He's sitting at 12. He's certainly up there, man. Yeah, I don't think he's actually missed a CS yet. Uh-oh. Sedoi going to avoid a stomp. Puppy has his poison touch. Sedoi's going to try to eat his way. It's body blocked. And they get the Hadouken going. Counter Helix. Uh, Broke's looking for a Berserker's Call, and uh, this should be a kill if he gets it off. And he gets body blocked by No Tail a bit. Kuroki has range. He could use it now. He will. And there goes the Berserker's Call. The Shadow Wave. The stop. Easy first blood going out for No Tail. And this is what I was talking about. I mean, Jakiro is strong. He's tanky, but uh, he's not tanky enough to stand up against three giant men. Well, two giant men and a weird Shadow Priest thing. Yeah, so they're doing a good job putting a lot of pressure onto this offlane Jakiro, but... You know, it is still a safe lane axe, which, you know, it's not too, too scary. Once he gets the Blink Dagger, though, he's going to be able to put a lot of pressure onto these lanes, but... It's not a hero that you're too worried about getting farm going into the late game. You, you want Blink Dagger, uh, maybe another item, and then, you know, you kind of have to be careful when Probably those items come out, and then that, that's that's about it. Stomp coming in. G is going to get hit up, but there's no follow-up as the TP rotation does get canceled. I think once they realize G was probably safe, they cancel the TP and they make sure they stay. I think it was down bottom, perhaps. I'm not sure. I don't think Yul had a TP, and he's still farming away. Yul's just going to be AFK farming for a bit. Misery down bottom, nothing going on there, and just back to farming. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have to take note notice of the jungle enigma, as he has been completely uncontested at this point. No camps were blocked. Um, they didn't even try to, you know, send... G getting caught. S4, the right click. There's the Astro coming in. Stomp might go, and it will, but G bottling back up, getting regen. S4 backing Dying away. Jotam looking for a brain sap. He's got it. S4, boom. <laughs> Jotam gets the kill with that brain sap. Easy stuff there. Yeah, I actually thought G was going to be in a little bit of trouble there, but nice usage of that regeneration rune. Was able to bottle through the in between the auto attacks and ends up actually getting a kill in the end, so baiting S4 in just a little bit. Yeah, G's, G's play has been impressive throughout the tournament. And honestly, throughout the past couple of months, top lane. Sudoi, please, not again. Stomp's gonna go. Berserker's called? No, Kuroki doesn't pop the animation. Looks like he was too far away. Another canceled TP, this time from Jotam yet again. And Well, all right. That's like 200 gold down the drain, but that's okay. As long as he's just making sure his team survives, it's okay. No worries. Well, Bane and Enigma with that unfounded synergy. This is what I love mod packs for, man. He just finds the, the craziest stats. He's just like, did you know that when these three heroes combine, they make Voltron? And I'm just like, what? What is the statistic coming out? So, yeah. I mean, it does make sense. Say, uh, Enigma offers a lot of AOE disable, whereas Bane offers a lot of single target disable. Yeah. So add them together. You've got some flexible disable. One plus one I equals two, if, if that's what uh, you're getting at here. I understand completely. I could do some math. Uh, I'm not too sure why those heroes are necessarily successful together. Um, something, something causality, correlation, I don't know. I'm not a stats man. Mott packs help me out here, buddy. No tail. Looking up the top rune spot. Six minute rune spawn coming in. A lot of contention over these runes. No surprise there. Lycan does get his Midas pretty early on. Six minutes, not bad. But he is going for the Midas. He's not rushing of Vlad's. He's not rushing a medallion, so... Not oh, super went... surprising, but Stomp G is going to ball anything away. He was getting caught out, and he's going to survive for the time hmm. being. That was a lot of damage coming in, but no no actual kill. Mystery does have a haste turn, but he's just going to run into six Eidolons and turn back around. How is the Enigma jungle going? He is level six. It's six minutes in. He's got half of a mech, so he's doing pretty decent. You... I think an ideal timing for a mech is between 10 and 11 minutes, so I think he's still on pace for that mech timing. Oh, Sidoi getting dove in the top lane. He's fine. He's just going to pull the group way back to his uh, tier 2 tower and just get some farm here. Sitting at 11 last hits and looking at Misery, he's also at 11. Level 5 mm -hmm. for Misery. Sidoi sitting at level 4, so Misery's doing a bit better. Um, it's tough to contest an offlane puck, it, it feels like, at least in this game, because... He is also against a dual lane. Exactly. I mean, it's a dual lane, and they don't really have much kill potential, especially with mm -hmm. a Lycan. 
With Bane, you can lock him down with C6, but that's about it. It looks like they're actually going to try to bait Sidoy in the top lane. I hope that he goes on him so that this Enigma can make a nice clean rotation and get off the black hole. But it doesn't look like they're actually too interested in this fight right now. Every Enigma's uh, wet dream getting a black hole off early on in the game. Two or three heroes caught in it. Not going to happen, though, this time around. She's going to look for Puppy, and Puppy will grave himself no TP to get out of dodge, though, and he's in some trouble. Astral Stomp might go, and S4 jumps in. What a big jump coming in from S4, but the ball lightning, they can get the kill. There's the black hole coming in, and Yul's got two on top of him as well. S4 getting low. Phantom Strike on cooldown for a bit. They get one. Will they get two? Triple kill coming out for G. Misery counter dream coil coming in, but where's the follow-up? Kuroki's a bit late to the party. Ice Bath comes in. G's got to get right click down. They're looking for Sadoi. They cannot catch him out of position. And that is going to be an interesting trade when it's all said and done. Three for one. And that's the big black hole we were talking about coming out from Yol. And that's going to get him even closer to his mech. Mm -hmm. Really nice play coming out from VP there. I think maybe there was a little bit of miscommunication on Secret's part. It looks like Everyone decided to rotate towards that fight except Kuroki. I think maybe had Kuroki been there just a little bit earlier, it looked like he was farming up one of these neutral camps. They That might have gone a little bit better, or I think either everyone has to come, or they just ditch Puppy and say, look, you're dead, buddy, and uh, not continue the chase. But in the end, they actually get three for Dyer's one, so a really solid fight attack. coming out from VP. Really awkward engagement coming out from Secret, like you mentioned, and I think that you're absolutely right. They should have just left Puppy at high and dry. And, and and sometimes you have that feeling where you just want to go back in and maybe try to turn something around, especially with one of the big abilities expended. But, well, I mean, it, it looks so. a little promising. I mean, maybe, you know, if S4 gets a crit or two, that's completely different, but it was not in the cards today. No heart of the cards coming out for Secret, at least not yet. They do have the Axe, Blink Dagger, the RNG might be real with the Counter Helix, no Battle Hunger, obviously. Not a big fan of that ability, uh, even with the buffs. That 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 ability just gone from the game. It feels like, and he'll head top. He'll he'll start roaming around looking for something. He might head to the jungle to farm a bit more, as there's no real openings yet. As everyone from Virtus Pro are in the jungle just farming. Bzz especially, who now is getting close to his Vlad's. And in fact, he probably he has a jump blink. on the mid lane. They will go on to uh, G with the storm spear, but he just ball lightnings away. There's no follow up damage there, and he gets out. No problem. Yeah. They actually need at least one crit to happen from S4 on this PA to get that kill, but no crits available. Actually, he's getting pretty unlucky. I think that's two engagements in a row where he actually doesn't get any crits, so. It's not, again, no heart of the cards coming out for Team Secret. Nope. Uh, S4 is begging Ice Frog for a crit. He is walking in a stylish fashion right now. I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but he's gliding currently. Excellent stuff. Well played, Valve. The yeah, the, what is happening? In fact, the animation of the uh, portrait's not moving either. Good stuff coming out. Good bugs. What is the portrait? It's her, like, half of her face and then kind of her chest again. It's like the CM bug all over again, man. No, my portrait on CM is really tiny. Uh, Like, like really, really tiny? I, not, not CM. I mean PA. Yeah, yeah, like, it's really tiny and it's just on the bottom left. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm just seeing, like, it's sort of, it's like... Her lips and then her torso. It's kind of so strange. We actually are seeing different things. That's funny. The bugs are the best part about this band. Forget Dota. Just let's let's cast <laughs> bugs all the time. Let's go to effigies, bugs, and cosmetics. That's how we're gonna make a yep. living. All right. So the top lane. She's Secret has a done a really good job of stacking for this axe. He's actually gonna be extraordinarily farmed. Bottom tower he has up to 61 attack. CS. I think he's cleared two or three stacks into the jungle, so... One way to uh, win this game is see Kuroki snowballing out of control. Kills can do that, and giant stacks can do that as well. G is looking for a jump. Yul, he's gonna walk in. Blink, Berserker's call is gonna go. Poison Touch, Stomp as well. Good Ice Path to save his life momentarily. Black Hole is available. Mech gets off, and they don't have enough damage. No counter helix. Parox really coming through to dish out the damage. Misery, Hastrud coming in, though, and they will chase after Sadoi. Pops the Dream Quill. Earthspun is gonna go. Waiting Rift. Sadoi is gonna get hit up with the ultimate coming out from the Elder Titan. They have to back away. They're turning towards Yul. Kuroki's going in. Berserker's call did go. Jaunt 
through. Not going to be there. Malthus keeping Yol alive for the time being, but they're still chasing after him, diving past the tier one, even getting close to the tier two tower. And Yol heads to the mid lane. Kuroki blinks in, though. They're looking for this kill. Slam jam. They're going to find it. Kuroki chops him up. Chop liver indeed for Kuroki as the axe gets his first jam in the game. All the while, though, BZZ was doing Roshan, so I would actually say this is a positive for Virtus Pro. A lot of time committed from oh, Secret. And they do get the ultimate for Jotam out. S4 about to die. Long range hit from G will get the kill. Now they're looking for Jotam chasing after him. Might be a one for one exchange in this fight. The calling blade comes through from the axe. And now Sedoi getting turned on. He should fall here, but oh, BZZ. On the hunt as well. G gets one kill onto Puppy. Now hop to the high ground from G. He's going to look for more right clicks. Can't get the kill onto No Tail. They turn their attention elsewhere, but there's no one to find as everyone's got now. You look at Misery. He pieced out of there, but he has no TP scroll. He's in an awkward spot. He's going to find BZZ. Jaunts through. Says, hi, how are you? I'm out of here. Please don't kill me. There's no follow-up, and Misery just walks calmly by the uh, BZZ Lycan who's just farming the Ancient Stack, clearly. All right, Valve. Okay. Why? Never mind. PA what? has returned to normal status. I like. Uh, no, no, I not for me. Definitely not. Okay. Well, more <laughs> normal than it was when I just looked mid at PA. There was just a circle, and then I saw <laughs> weapons, but no hero. So this is what you get for not having the uh, the Arcana, man. Yep. S four. You gotta get I'm, on board, man. Did they fix the Arcana bug? Because Which I actually don't think you should be using the Arcana in pro games if they haven't. What's the bug? Um, well, let's see if this... I don't think this is going to be a successful gank. No, All right. it was not if you were talking about the gank mid. Yep. And uh, so the bug was... Let's say you were attacking Roshan. Okay, well, hold that thought. Blink Berserker's call. You're never going to get this thought off as Kroki jumps in. Dream crawl onto Jotam. TP rotation. They might want to cancel that. No, Yol's going to come in. Black hole at the ready. Nightmare up onto S4. Yol's looking for it. Might just use it onto S4, but he gets it onto 3. Instead, Black hole macro pyre coming in with the ice path. Feeds grip onto Kroki coming in. BZZ wants to wreck it. Puppy gets the last second shallow grave off. Berserker's call. Kroki will fall anyways. And that is going to be a two for one exchange at the end of the day. Day, and they will push the tier one tower off the back end of this. Yeah, really nice black hole coming out from Yol on this Enigma. It's a really nice play. And they end up getting two for one. They do lose the storm. I would say probably their most important early game hero, but at the same time, they get two cores out of secret, so. Big Daddy getting caught out. Gee, yeah, he's the easy kill coming through. Nice storm spirit play. By the way, no orc at first on the Storm Spirit. He's just going in with the point booster casually up at, uh, as his first item besides his Soul Ring and Tread, so. It's not a build that we actually see too much, but maybe they're thinking that they have better Lycan with the Enigma, Storm, and Lycan, so. I don't think they're wrong. I yeah. guess the PA can be a factor. I mean, but... the PA. Oh, uh, it... all right. I see the bug you're talking about now. Oh, it's happening again. What is this? <laughs> Look at his weapons just like... I, I don't know what this is. Uh, Sedoi is going to get caught out in the animation. Well, Sedoi, he actually is going to TP away, but this Phantom Assassin model just doesn't want to work, man. It just doesn't want to work. That's the highlight of this game one. If there's anything you guys take away from game number one, it's don't play Phantom Assassin with cosmetics that S4 has, which is the Karu? Karo? Or whatever. At this point, it doesn't matter. Smoke of Deceit coming out from the side of Secret. They're going to head towards the mid lane. See if they can find anybody bottom, but Misery might be the hero. One in his last 20 matches on Elder Titan. Ugh, it's disgusting. Gross. That is actually one hell of a set. I wonder if you can say that about any hero for any other team. Dyer's bottom tower um, is under attack. I don't think so. Dyer's structure I have Zai, Wraith King, 17 and 1. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. It, it was 16 and 0. It was. Dyer's bottom and then it was the Dota Pit game, just, I think. Just had it? to go ruin it. Was it Dota Pit or was... Summit? Mm. I think it was Summit, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, Link Berserker's wow. call. Kuroki going in into Jotam, but good. Malphus to stop. Counter Helix Brain Sap. Jotam staying alive. He does have his Fiend's Grip. He needs to get it off. Can't do so. Gets called up. Kuroki looking for the kill. He gets graved by Puppy at the last second yet again. 
Will he get a kill on the backside of this Berserker call misses? On the other side of things, G does get crit by S4. They're going to back up. No re-engage yet from either side. Stifling Dagger going through. Yol getting chased down. Stomp's going to fly. It's going to hit on the Diol. He doesn't have Black Hole. Ice Path coming in. Now the Stifling Dagger goes. Eidolon's S4 is thinking about jumping in. Questioning his entire life decisions here. Throws up the Stifling Dagger. Yol takes a lot of damage, but still backs away. Some very aggressive engagements coming out from both teams. Thank you, Bot Pax. I appreciate it, my friend. Oh, someone in Twitch chat just said, what's PA Arcana bug? So let me go back to that really yes, quick. So it, if you were doing Roshan, let's say, um, there's like a, an enormous crit animation with the Arcana. Like it, it makes like another model or something or some huge particles when you crit. Oh. And you can actually see it through fog. Yes, so I'm not I remember sure that now. If yeah. it's fixed. You could actually like see it when they're doing jungle or ancients. It, it's like a very significant bug. That was that was at the beginning, I think, uh, when when the Arcana was like a week or two old, I believe. And it, I mean, it, it lasted at least a month, I know. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not sure if it's been fixed yet or not. But uh, I don't think. I mean, unless you're not entirely sure if it's fixed, you just shouldn't use it. In a so maybe that's just why the the Arcana is not used yeah. for most pro players. I mean, they might have it, but. <laughs> I know EE was actually using it when the bug existed, and I was like, oh boy. That's how that's that's how you lose games, man. That might be why he lost the summit, too. Nope, that's Probably exactly not. why. <laughs> that's, that's it. We're going to blame it on the bug. BZZ caught out. Waiting Rift does go, and he is in some damn trouble. Can't shapeshift, and there's the jam from Kuroki. He actually popped the shapeshift, and that does put it on cooldown, by the way, even if it doesn't get off. How unfortunate. That's down for about 80 seconds. Ball lightning. G does pick up a rune, just kind of Shut awkwardly away. going in and making sure. So, if we go ahead and take inventory of this game, it looks like VP does have about a 6,000 net worth advantage. You know, 2,500 experience or so. Radiance bottom tower they do have a significant attack. tower lead, as they are going to be going on S4 with the storm jump in. Jakiro follow up, is it going to be enough? I, I think yeah it's it's gonna it's gonna take a I bit but, to be seen. but they're gonna get like, the bottom tower. Virtus Pro is just like we need some MKBs man. Just everybody build MKB. It's a good way to Radiance counter. Bottom tower is under attack. Don't do that. Dyer's top tower is under Virtus attack. Virtus gonna push mid. They're gonna pop up the liquid fire. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. And force a glyph Dyer's on the tier two. I gotta say Virtus Pro have come out with some composed gaming thus far. The Lycan pick has been doing okay, but G has been playing out of his mind on the Storm Spirit. <laughs> Yul free farming in the jungle. I think the supports have made a lot of really Dyer's good plays with Redis Pro so far. And attack. Secret just haven't done that much with his axe. I mean, he's meant to be snowballing, and he's Dyer's really not right now. Mm, I think, well, Axe, I think, has done a great job this game. The problem is that they're going to run into is S4 has nothing right now. He has a Ring of Health, Treads. I, and I'm very concerned that he, his item progression is not going to be enough. I mean, he's missing a hero, man. That's that's all that he needs to be said. Well, once the Necro 3 is going to come out, I'm really concerned Dyer's for Team Secret. They're going to have uh, a BKB pretty soon on this Enigma with the mechanism, a Book 3 on Lycan. Combining that with the Liquid Fire as well as the Yules on Jakiro, it's going to be very difficult to take these fights. You know, even if they get a nice axe jump in, if Jakiro is able to just Yule's ice path and then they blow up axe, the PA is not that much of a threat at the moment. So do you think BKB at some point for Kuroki in this game then? Uh, yes. Uh, I think you blade mail into BKB will mm -hmm. most likely be what he chooses. Well, he's going to have to farm up that BKB as he does finish up the blade mail, which you just talked about. Um, and it looks like they're posturing for top lane, but neither team wants to commit at this point. Is there still an Aegis? No, there is not. BZZ was the one that killed Roshan. Roche timer, about a minute, and then it's up again. So, first game so far not disappointing in terms of aggression. Action packed, 11 to 8 the score. Uh, what more could you ask for, ladies and gentlemen? Well, maybe like 50 kills, but someday. <clears throat> I wonder what um, S4 is actually going to opt to build, because he does have that Ring of Health, so is he going to continue towards the Battle Fury, or is he going to determine that it's you know too late for such an item? Maybe he goes back for a BKB first? He definitely I, uh, needs a BKB. I feel like if you, if you, I usually don't say this too often, but if you go back for an item, if you, if you have this Ring of Health and you don't complete the Battle Fury, it almost feels oh, like you're, you're, it's a defeatist mindset to a certain extent, but it's actually just the better option, probably. 
Um, it's a tough choice to make for S4 regardless. He does have 2,000 gold in the bank, and he'll look to spend it relatively soon. He doesn't want to keep that gold saved up too long. Uh, I think at this point you definitely go for a BKB. Because the, the B-Fury, it's just not going to offer you too much in terms of survivability, and that's definitely something that they need to worry about right now. They're going to start cutting, uh, I think, the jungle off for them. He won't have really the avenues to farm, and even with the oh, Battle no. Fury, it doesn't really matter as much. And... G actually cancels his regeneration rune on these neutral creeps. It's a little unfortunate for him. No! It's the best rune for a Storm Spirit G! Right? I, I guess I would call it the best rune. Attack. Yeah, it is the best one. By the way, I gotta I gotta commend you. I was watching your puck play last night. It was yep. quite something. And I don't mean it a bad way. You were flaming yourself, you were getting down on yourself. You were you were you were playing well. Gods was commending you, I think, to a certain extent. It was a nice play. Well, that's how you get better. Be hard on yourself. Easy. <laughs> just flame yourself constantly. Yep. At some point and... it's just too much. Oh, he actually does finish the Perseverance, so it looks like it is going to be a Battle Fury. You He's know, going full, I mean, full I think this mode. choice is okay because... You know, it's you don't really want to rush BKB because then your BKB timer's not going to be so good in the late game. And it's pretty clear that Secret are actually just going to be looking towards this late game. And it's going to be interesting to see how the late game unfolds. Black Hole is going to be a major issue. BKB yeah. is going to be completed soon I for just... Enigma, and there's nothing that can really stop it at this point. Yeah, but I mean, you do have that threat of having the Elder Titan PA, which can actually just win you the game. Because the Spirit on to one of these carries, let's say like Storm or something, and then PA just jumps in and you get a huge crit. He's and just dead at that point. You can just start one-shotting people. He just taken range. for BZZ yet again, so... And with Lycan, your main goal is taking objectives, and he's done just that. He's taken Roshan, they've taken a couple of towers, they're still at tier 1's tower mid, and that's a huge objective uh, for Virtus Pro to hold onto. It means that the enemy team can't get into the, the Radiant jungle as easily and stop them from um, pushing in and, and being aggressive. And there is the Crimson Guard coming out, and now we might see the, the BKB for the Axe. And Crimson Guard this game... Pretty good against the Wolves, the Eidolons, I'd say, and, and just general right-click coming yeah, out from Vrace The Necro Pro. books as well, actually. Yes, yes, absolutely. I actually like this pickup a lot. Uh, it's going to mitigate a decent portion of the damage that Lycan is going to have going this build because he has three damage sources, so it's going to do a lot of work against the Lycan, but it's not going to save these buildings. Uh, S4 going in. There's the Ice Path. Feeds grip onto S4. Dream Quill cancels it though. Dual Breath, S4 Brain Sapped. He should fall here. The right click should be enough. They already take down Elder Titan. They turn to G gets a double kill. They're looking for more. Misery's gonna get caught up with the Ice Path. There's the Urn Charge as well. Waning Rift going. He's gonna try to jaunt away. Will he make it out? Yes, onto the other side of the trees, but they do see him more than likely. Sentry on the ground just to get vision for Jotham, and they get the kill. Three down. That was and a really cute sentry placement. Not a lot of people would think that you place a sentry for vision, but it does work. Black Hole just to correct and connect and kill some Kroki as he was getting graved and TP'd in. Uh, this game is slowly just slipping away from Secret. Virtus I mean, if we are playing out of their minds, man, it feels like... Yeah, they played definitely a super solid game. I think it was, uh, you know, we always talk about Enigma in the jungle. If you don't contest his farm at all, it is very, very risky because you are gonna... You're basically just giving up an experience and gold advantage early in the game. Virtus Pro Polar already waiting on the other side of the bracket. Now again, this is a best of five series, and this game is certainly by no means over, but you have to wonder... Is this going to be the year of CIS Dodo? Dyer's top <laughs> it must be all that Bane Synergy, man. That's it, exactly. Mob Packs, you called it. Even though they were across the map, by the way, killing uh, two yep. different heroes, but that's the Synergy coming through. That Bane Enigma centered Synergy. It's too strong. Uh, uh. So, what do you do now? We talked about PA getting farm. They're starving out the jungle. He still doesn't have his Battle Fury yet. We talked I mean, the about problem late game, is but I don't know, man. He needs at least three items. He, he needs Battle Fury, Abyssal, and BKB. I, uh, gee, I don't know about this. He's going to get stomped up. They don't have Battle Hunger or Berserker's Call for another couple of seconds. Misery was looking for a Quill. No waning Rift, though. And G jumps into three heroes, and he's actually saved by Yule Scepter, I believe, from No Tail. So. I... 
Virtus Pro you. looking to connect and continue onward here. Midnight Pulse is going to go through. There's the Yule Scepter coming in. Misery, Dream Coil onto four. Yule, BKB is looking for a hole. He might find it. There's going to be the Earth Splitter coming in. S4, Fiend's gripped up. They don't lose a hero. Sedoi does pop off, though. S4 getting low. He will get brought down by G. There's the Coiling Blade. The Age is now done. Coming in, Kuroki getting caught out. He should get right click to death. Nightmare will save him for a moment. Puppy does grave him. Kuroki will Berserker's call yet again. He does get a double kill with the slam, but he still falls. In the end, it is a four for two trade, and they will move forward and take this tier two tower on top of it all. And every single fight that Virtus Pro take, they are they are trading so effectively. Yeah, I think that's a Rex at very minimum. Uh, right. This game is actually going to be extremely hard for a Seeker Dyer's to come back in. They don't really have any AOE team fight ults on top of this Elder Titan to sort of come back into the game. Sure, they have the Quail, but you know that's not a spell that does a tremendous amount of damage. Well, certainly not when it's level 2 and when it's getting to the point where Virtus Pro are getting tankier and tankier by the minute. Bottom mm. tower is under G continues to will away at the tower. Might have stayed too long. They really want this tier 3. Waning Rift going into G. He's in some trouble. Has his bloodstone. He does deny himself at the last second. G making sure he doesn't give anything away. Assault Cross now done. Jotam is going to make his way out. Stomp no way in time. Even if it was going to go. BZZ picks up a lucky double damage room. The Blueberry Muffin. Now for the Lycan, and uh, 28 minutes in, and they do get the Tier 3 tower. No Rax is down yet, and you've got to find something if you're secret here, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think this actually just comes back to the laning choices from secret. They didn't get enough out of these lanes um, to really justify the picks. Nice bath. Puppies, and yeah, he's just getting two shot by this Lycan. Good old double damage room. He would have yeah. died regardless. Observer yeah. Ward catches out BZZ, taking the enemy Ancients. Uh, Misery is sitting on the high ground with the Blink. Ice Path comes in. They might turn this. In fact, they're going to jump in. Misery waiting Rift. Dream Crawl only onto one, though. Jotam, Brain Sap, Misery going to try to get out. S4 jumping in. Earth Splitter. Jotam does get the Fiends Grip off. S4, can he get a kill before he dies? He stays alive, but the Black Hole from Yol onto two. Kuroki getting caught out. The right click from BZZ. They're looking for more. Misery still Crimson Guarded up, and he is going to get phase shifted. Now melted. Double kill for BZZ. It is a team wipe, although Puppy wasn't a part of it. He was the first to die. And the first to respawn as well. A secret now. That is a 24 to 13 kill deficit. A 15,000, almost 20,000 net worth disadvantage. And experience wise, it's about the same. And BZZ and Co. will look to take their first racks of the game here. At least they'll try. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I think it comes back to the leaning choices coming out from Secret this game. Not really putting Axe in a position where he wins his lane. I mean, it's a try lane against a solo. Obviously, he's going to do well in his lane, but I don't think they got enough out of this Axe trick. Because in the end, PA just completely suffered because uh, he was in the mid lane and constantly getting ganked. They did a lot of nice rotations from the Enigma as well as the Bane, making his life a complete living hell. And... Well, I think Secret are running out of gas this game. L let me ask you, assuming the game continues on Maybe the way that it does go, would you say that Secret got outdrafted or outplayed or a little bit of both in this in this first game of the series? Mm, I mean, you can say outdrafted in the sense that I don't think they set up their lanes correctly. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important, actually, when you're... When you pick something like an axe against a Lycan, that you five man like the enemy jungle or something just so that you can start getting vision of what they're doing because without that information you're just sort of guessing Sudo is going to fall down to Kuroki with a calling blade a nice pick off but they need that times about 20 or so um, and I feel like they should have done that a bit earlier on in the game they even tried to do so but not working out in their favor Puppy up under the high ground. He just walks right into a Fiend's Grip. S4 is looking to maybe jump in. They're just going to go full YOLO mode here. S4 gets nightmare up. Now Kroki jumps in. Big Berserker's call. They do take two. Kroki already taking a lot of damage. They were looking for the Calling Blade on the G, but he ball lightnings away. So, okay trade. And BCZ chasing in, though, but Kuroki's going to get pulled. Now the Crimson Guard is down. Kuroki's going to get right-clicked by BCZ, and he's on the hunt. Misery getting hexed up. Stomp coming through does stop the aggression from Virtus Pro. Stifling Dagger from S4 pushes them back further, and they will move up to the high ground and uh, actually just TP away and get out of dodge. So, 
Yeah. I mean, that's probably about as good as a fight as you can hope for for Secret at this point. Trading two for two. Um, VP did not have the black hole available with the BKB in that particular team fight, so. That's, That's all you can ask for right now from it, Secret. Yeah, I, I mean, as long as they're taking fights like that, especially outside of their base, that's the most important thing. You take a fight like that inside your yeah. base, you might take some collateral damage. A building might fall, a Rax, a Tier 3, what have you. But outside of the base, you give yourself a chance to fight another day, even if you don't have buyback. I think the main issue that Secret are having right now is the farm distribution. Um, this PA actually... It, the PA needs to be the most farmed hero on their team. Jump in, Puppy, Vortex, can he get the Grave off? Yep, just in time, no tail, getting pushed back. They are diving past this Rax. Mystery comes in, they do pop the mech for Yol. He does get Dagon, stays alive. Astro coming in, pops the BKB. He wants to get back in and maybe Black Hole, TP coming through. This time for Puppy, all heroes alive on both sides. Misery looking for more, blink forward. He's looking for Drottom, he's got a Dream Coil. Ooh, that Coin Blade, Kuroki. Stop the animation for a moment there, and they will just take it down with pure right click after the nightmare was taken away. Now the Necro unit summoned, and it looks like Secret live another day here. Yeah, they do end up losing the tier three, so I think it's just a matter of time before these wrecks in the mid lane fall to the Necro usage as well as the you know the zoning potential that Enigma has right now. It really just comes down to how long can you stave off this aggression until S4 becomes somewhat relevant in this game because every single time he's been ice path, he's been yeah. locked down, he's been vortex, he's been everything in the game. And he needs two more items, so he hacked. He needs BKB and Abyssal. Like he's not going to do enough damage with just BKB. Um, he's going to be more significant in these fights because he's not going to get locked down by either the storm, the ice path, etc. Mm -hmm. But he can still get gripped. Um, Roki is going for um, a pretty solid item in the situation that they're in. I think he's going for the Aghanim Scepter. Uh, he actually has enough money at about 200 gold if that's the item he is going to choose. Um, and should he go for that, that is going to help them kill heroes a lot quicker. I mean, the, the threshold with Scepter is 625. And some of these mm -hmm. heroes are still pretty squishy. A lot of them have tanked up. Yeah. But Bane is still... Actually, I, man, all these guys are, are pretty tanky. Jakiro, Jakiro is actually... I think the least tanky hero, which is pretty surprising because yeah. he was the offlaner. Yeah, that is. Uh... And we he talk has... about his strength potential at level one. He has one. no stat items, actually. Blink, Yules, Force. Yeah, nothing that actually gives him strength. In fact, you can see it. It's like plus 20 intelligence. I, I don't need to be beefy in any other category. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not very agile. That's fine. So, Yodes or Sadoi, whichever you want to call him. Yodas. Oh, I think the yeah, secret, I mean, secret's only chance here, I think, is to stall the game off long enough to where S4 on this Phantom Assassin gets to those, that three item threshold, Dyer's gets a couple crits in these attack. fights, you know, bursts some heroes before they can actually do anything. I mean, this is and a I'm, big daddy elder titan we're talking about. This is a Kuroki Axe. This is a Puppy Dazzle. They have the tools to come back into the game. But it's going to take a lot. BKB goes. Puppy now getting caught out. Big black hole from Yol onto S4. Big Daddy No Tail gets pulled in. S4 pops the BKB. Yol does get it countered now. S4 still low. Going on to BZZ, but he stays alive. Dream Cool not doing much. Three dead already all day. And No Tail is going to be the fourth coming out. Maybe even the fifth for Misery as GG is finally called. That was the last fight Secret had in the tank in this first game. And 31 to 16. Virtus Pro already. Up on the board, one nothing at a best of five series. Oh, what a game it was coming up from the CIS squad. That was extremely well played by VP. I was very impressed by their play this game. Um, it just seemed like every fight, they just played a little bit better. You know, maybe it could be, you could say the heroes maybe a little bit, but they come out, you know, just with the small edge in every team fight, and then eventually it just compounds itself. They get every Roshan. I actually think that was the play of the game. When they were killing Roshan, they traded, I believe, uh, it was like two kills for Roshan, mm -hmm. but they didn't lose any objectives. No tower was taken, so they didn't lose the map control. And then they ended up getting a free Rosh onto Lycan, which is very important. Gets him a lot of experience as well. And really nice play coming out from VP. Virtus Pro had a lineup. They knew how to play it, and they executed. And that's the story of the game. So... 
with that, we will finish off game number one. We will jump into game number two in just a moment, guys, here on Dota Pit. Now, again, if you've enjoyed the cast, make sure you follow us at Mott Dota, at F4L Dota, and at Mott Packs, of course, our stats man joining us today. We do have a Twitter giveaway, an Arcana giveaway, I believe. Uh, head over to twitter.com slash Dota Pit for more information. It's the two times PA Arcana giveaway. Highly recommend it. So twitter.com slash Dota Pit. Uh, make sure you follow them over there as well. Check out DotaPit.com for more information. And um, I think that's it. We'll jump into game number two in just a second, guys. Stick around. We'll be right back.